I'll put it like this. I think the NFL has got Jim Trotter effed up. <laughs> oh, they didn't they didn't pick the wrong one. Okay, uh, Thank Jim Trotter, you. if you thought, Thank he, was going, you. You thought he was going quietly right. into that good night, uh, no, this is Jim's treat, uh, tweet from today, and obviously this has been big news, not just in the NFL and the media world, but especially here at Brother From Another. He is truly our brother from another. He said, I've thought a lot about Brian Flores' lawsuit against the NFL for alleged discriminatory hiring practices. His case is the micro. The macro is the culture within the NFL, including owner behavior that was covered up by the league-owned newsroom. Stay tuned, more to come. See, the problem for the league is uh. Jim Trotter knows how the sausage was made, and he knows where a lot of the bodies were buried. Jason Johnson, yep. um, we have seen this movie before. Hell, I've lived this movie. Okay, uh, we know typically how it ends, um, right? But this this ending might be a little bit different this time, which goes back to my original point about about the league might have picked the wrong one. Uh, what are your observations uh, as it relates to our brother Jim Trotter and his ongoing uh, situation with the NFL and his termination? So first, when I heard the news that it wasn't renewed, I automatically DM'd him. I said, "Great work." Uh, I expressed other sentiments that we can't say on Peacock. Uh, and I'll say this, <laughs> to quote to, to quote a, a sort of perfect movie example as you're referring to, if you strike me down, I will be more powerful <laughs> than you there ever you could have imagined. I'm okay? telling you. There is a way in which, when it comes to our people in particular, if you free us from the concerns, confines, and occasional financial responsibilities of being attached to a large conglomerate, it gives us a level of freedom to speak truths that heretofore we were not free to speak. So in the case of Jim Trotter, it's not just that he was always right. I mean, look, he was doing journalism. He was doing his job. It's not just that he was pointing out the institutional racism that manifests itself in everything from the hiring of coaches to GMs to discipline to who covers the league. But in his firing or non-renewal of his contract for asking the basic questions that fans and the 70% of African-Americans who make up the league ask on a regular basis, him being fired for that proves his point. So I'm excited mm -hmm. to see what happens next. I hope that other yes. people follow in his pathway because the league itself can't keep playing this game and think they're going to be successful. You will have other people asking questions. You will have other people creating their own outlets. You will have other players asking these questions. Your only way to solve the problem of Jim Trotter is to answer some of the things Jim Trotter was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, um, yeah. You know, uh, uh, Mike, Mike, and uh, and Doc. I, but I think it's also I agree with everything you said. But just I don't know about y'all, but the whole DEI thing is really killing me because. Everybody says it, especially at, in 2020 after George Floyd. Everybody said it, including the NFL in racism and uh, you know, uh, it takes all of us. But that doesn't isn't it dis I don't know, disheartening, infuriating, some combination of both to see this happening in the NFL and throughout the United States of America. People who will talk the talk, but when it's time to walk it, we have headlines like this. I, I mean, it, it's 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 deeper than that. Look, one African American is murdered in a modern day lynching that happens to get caught on camera. I mean, even Forbes. This came out in December or January of this year. Forbes magazine. Forbes, not a bastion of liberal commentary, did an article talking about the over two hundred million dollars in publicly pledged funds from Fortune 500 companies that was supposed to go to criminal justice, diversity, advocacy, blah, blah, blah. Ain't none of that money showed up, okay? Now, unless suddenly one of these five Fortune 500 companies is like, well, the way my check-ins and savings is set up, then we know it's not because they can't afford it. It's because they were never invested in it. It's because they saw a black man murdered they could not find a way to escape that problem. They felt guilty about it for all of six, seven minutes. And then they went back to what they were doing before. And we see that all the time in this country. It is the history of the United States to see tragedy, shame, abuse, violence, feel bad about it for 24 hours and go back to doing the same thing. I mean, did we not just see a school shooting? People felt bad for 48 hours and went right back to the right. same thing. So whether it has to do with Thoughts race or school shootings or violence in the environment, this is what this country does. Uh, meanwhile, from a, to another brother uh, bucking the system, 
uh, Lamar Jackson. What's your POV on his standoff with the Ravens and the NFL in general? First off, can we just say, I mean, there, there's, there's, there's several CO words you can say. There's CO conspiracy, but I prefer COL collusion because it's always been collusion. We've, we've known that it's only 32 people. 32 people can collude to do anything. And the idea that Lamar Jackson, less than two years removed from a, a unanimous MVP, okay, who on average has played more games than you've gotten out of Aaron Rodgers for the last couple of years. The fact that Lamar Jackson can be on the market and can't find a job is nothing other than the fact that the league is angry at the Browns for offering Deshaun Watson a fully guaranteed contract, and they are going to break this black man down and remind him that fully guaranteed contracts are not being offered to anybody. That's all this is. It's not about winning. It's not about him not having an agent. It's not about him uh, being dramatic or difficult or anything else like that. This man wants to get paid as every single person playing the game right now wants to get paid. And he has a right to being in one of the most important positions in the sport. And if you can tell me that the the, the New York Jets can spend time chasing after uh, a dishonest conspiracy theory, Joe Rogan loving mm -hmm. Um, you know, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers yeah. and the league can go after after broke boy players like like Andy Dalton. And, and you can see Derek Carr get a job and you can see the Rams still dealing with Matt Stafford. There's a whole lot of mediocre, low quality quarterbacks out there. And I said Matt Stafford because I ain't changed my oh, opinion see. of him. There's a whole lot of <laughs> mediocre <laughs> quarterbacks out there. I'm not, getting distracted. I'm not getting distracted. I'm not getting distracted. get that. a job. Because your Don't overall point, that, that was a word with yeah. Dr. Jason Johnson. I, look, I might be naive when I say this, but I'm hope because I've seen people float this. I'm hoping for everybody's sake that mm -hmm. maybe the teams that are deciding to make a play after the draft, because not only adding to your mediocre point is unproven guys. So maybe after the draft yeah. and they give picks not this year, but in 24 and 25. Right. I, I hope to God that that's the play and not just blackballing this dude like he's Colin Kaepernick or the next Colin Kaepernick. All right. Meanwhile, speaking of Colin Kaepernick, um, <laughs> Donald Trump uh, oh. indicated, as he said. Here we go. Indicated. I mean, yeah, like, but, but in, indicted <laughs> in, in New York, of course. Um, I'm not. I'm not optimistic about that. I'm not getting excited about potentially right. seeing this dude in cuffs and behind bars. But in fact, going to your point earlier about Jim Trotter, you know, if you strike me down, I'm only be going to become even stronger. Obi Wan Kenobi. Is this just? Is this going to actually help him politically, or is it already no. helping him politically? No, no. Okay. It, look, first off, a conviction don't help nobody unless you're trying to sell rap albums in the '90s, right? Like <laughs> nobody. This does not help anyone. <laughs> You don't ever want to get indicted for anything under any circumstances. Well, and, 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 an indictment and a Trump conviction is two different. An indi as you know, an indictment and a conviction yes. is two different things. Yes, neither one of them helps. Ne neither one of them helps this guy one way or another. And I, and I will say this because there's a, there's a context to this that I just I always think is important politically to understand. All of this happened because he wanted to pay off an adult film <laughs> star who he right. had sex with. And frankly, right. if Donald Trump, and this is the story of his life, if he was not such a jerk, all he had to do six yeah. or seven years ago from the PR standpoint is if he had just said, right. all right, you know what? Uh, there were some problems with my marriage with Melania. She has forgiven me. Um, you know, I don't want you guys dragging Stormy Daniels name. I've worked with her in the past. I was a celebrity. Let's move on from this. It'll be fine. But what he had to do, he had to deny it. He had to deny her three times. He had to say, I don't know her name. I don't know what Stormy Daniels is. Isn't she one of the X-Men? I'm confused. He called her horse face. He said he never had that's sex with her. That's, he built that's this the situation yep. up. If he showed yet, up, she probably yet, wouldn't work with the cops as much. But and yet, and again, like you're the political scientist, this is why I asked. And yet, knowing all this, he still got elected. And the right. thing that might take him down is paying off a porn star, not inciting an insurrection. Jason Johnson, or or, <laughs> or, or other stuff, or other stuff, or any, or anything Mike else. Jason, I mean, anything just else. Keep going. This is this, it, this, this is, is this is like Al Capone getting getting taken out I, of a tax evasion. Ta that's what tax that's, evasion. That's, that's, I, you know, look, I just uh, look. I love this, y'all. Uh, on the way out, you know what I love on the way out? I love this. Uh, they're saying now uh, on the uh, on the right, uh, the system is broken. Oh, now the justice system is broken. Oh, no. We've been on that. We told y'all. Yeah.
We told y'all yeah, the justice yeah. system is broken, but you were able to take advantage of it when you had your own guy in, in Barr and others who would do what you wanted them to do. It wasn't a problem then, but now, oh, now, oh, I get it. The system and, is and broken. I'll, cute. And I'll say That's this real cute. quick. But between McDougal, Stormy Daniels, uh, Florida, uh, uh, what he's got happening in Georgia, the instrument, look, he got a rap sheet like Death Row Records, right? Like he, he just, he, he's just building this stuff up. And one Tonight of these cases, <laughs> he's not necessarily- I like it. Like, like, I don't think Trump goes to jail. He's not gonna go to jail for Stormy Daniels, but yeah. there are criminal charges that he'll face in terms of the insurrection and what happened in Georgia. And those things could, I doubt it, but those things, quite frankly, could put him in handcuffs. Woo, we can only hope, we can only dream. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Thanks, guys, anytime. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.